pretty good going out there in the southwest. Okay, now maybe you're ready to step up to the plate and play with the big boys. I certainly hope so. Uh, this scenario right here, and welcome back to the fifth episode of a Nostalgia playthrough of Railroad Tycoon 2 Platinum Edition, by the way. Um, this uh, specific scenario here, we're not actually constructing any track or anything. We are transporting the future president around the nation. To, uh... Nice day, isn't it? Nice cool breeze, nice birds, nice if you get started already. That's three episodes in a row he's been using that exact freaking line. Either way, so you have three options, sir. To transport the tra uh, president, or coming president, around the nation. Uh, you have the 442 Atlantic with high top speed and terrible great performance. Uh, it could be viable. I suppose. Uh, not necessarily. On hard, it's not really that viable, though. You have the 260 Camelback. With low top speed, outstanding, great performance. But yeah, low top speed though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think that's too viable either for the gold. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, 260 Mogul with mid range. What? Right. Uh, mid range, top speed, and great performance. Could be the one to go for here. Um, this scenario is substantially easier on the easier difficulties. As there will just be... I, I don't know exactly why. It depends. Uh, it changes between scenarios what the difficulty does. But on this one, your trains basically seem to move slower. Break down more often. Accelerate worse, and generally you cover a, la a lot more track in the same amount of time uh, on the issue of difficulties. But let's go uh, with this train. I always said the only thing that puts out more hot air than a pot bellied steam engine is a pot bellied politician. <laughs> well, it seems Teddy Roosevelt wants to take a political tour of the Northwest. He wants to cover as much ground as possible your chance to prove your railroad to not only Teddy, but any future leaders. Seems I recall a man by the name of Harry Truman a few years later. He was fond of the Whistle Stop Tour also. <laughs> oh, and I'd advise you to make sure this ride goes well. I've seen Teddy use that big stick when he missed a stop. Well, let's hope he doesn't whip out the stick at us. Um... So let's read to the, to the um, scenario briefing here. You volunteer to oversee Theodore Roosevelt's whistle-stop tour of the Northwest to gain support for the 1904 elections. Teddy wants to see as many cities as possible in 14 days and has a full train of staff, press and baggage. All of it must come along, no exceptions. For bronze medal, take him and his entourage to 13 cities by midnight January 15, uh, 14. For silver medal, hit 14 cities. For a gold medal, hit 16 cities. Money is no objective. Make the president happy. Alright, so we don't start ports, but it doesn't really matter. So, I just want to go on record and say that this is my absolute least favorite. Like, I, I, I dislike this scenario, basically. Because you're not building anything. You're just running through the track and hoping that things don't go wrong. So, you set the route. You hope that it was the right route to set. And then you pray to God that your train does not have frequent breakdowns. And that's... That's all there's to it. Uh, so, let's set the route. We start out in Cheyenne here. Now, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna level with you and say that I have... Read through a walkthrough of this many years ago. But I do kind of recall the route. Because it's just... I've been using it a few times just to pass through it. And we're gonna go for Rock Springs... Pocatello, Twin Falls, Boise, to Pasco. In Pasco, there is a... You might think, why Pasco? And I'll get to why you might think that soon. Uh, yeah, in a bit. Though. So, from there to Tacoma, Seattle, Bellingham, from Bellingham, down to Eugene, Salem, and Portland. Then Spokane. Now, why go to Pasco if you're going to go back this way into Spokane anyway later? 
Well, that's because Pasco has sanding, water, and roundhouse. And, uh... You're gonna need that, otherwise you're gonna get around this section here, and then stuff's just gonna slow down, and you're not gonna be able to make gold. So, from Spokane to Missoula, to Helena, to Great Falls. And that's our route. Now you can mess around a little bit with the uh, speed of the train. We got breakdown chance per day, 1.2%. Let's crank this to the max, 4.6%. So, there's a chance every day that we... 1 in 20 chance, a little bit less than that. Uh, over these 14 days, that we'll have a breakdown. You can probably just go like this, and this might not be the best train for it, actually. Uh, the one with better grade performance and lower top speed could be better. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we should be able to make it with this train, and I'm gonna gamble on the 4.6% breakdown chance, increasing throttle. I mean, we could lower the throttle to reduce breakdown chance, but... Eh... Uh, Right, it would be 0 0.9 if we just had it on, uh... Wait a minute, so it's, it's the same there, but it's different. I, I don't know, let's go for the 4.6, we'll take the risk. Alright, we want to speed up, so... Uh, yeah, we just begin. Let's go speed 7. And, uh... Cheyenne has come out in droves to see the candidate. If we can reach Rock Springs by day one, and then a little bit further, before the end of this day, then we're on par. So, we're just gonna hope we can. We should be able to, so... Yeah. We're through uh, Rock Spring on day one. The Missoula Chamber of Commerce has offered to pay for an upgrade of the firebox in your locomotive if you <clears throat> on your locomotive if you'll stop by with Mr. Roosevelt. It will increase the speed of your locomotive by 10%. However, if you want to have it done, you'll need to be here within two days. We hope to see you here. That's just not gonna happen because the route isn't going that way. I mean it is, but it's gonna be in like two weeks for there basically, so. People of Rock Springs, cheer upon your arrival. Investors are annoyed with the chairman's performance. Board of Director cuts your salary. I thought you said money was no issue. I tell you, you are punishing me for not making any money. Hmm. Now we can speed it up a little bit more. This is pretty... Pretty straightforward uh, scenario right there. You just set the route. Hope for the best. You wish to the three stations, keep going. Well, I certainly intend to. I mean, we're doing okay so far. Five stations down, another 11 to go. 10 days to do it on. Yeah, I don't really have much to say here. I mean, it's just... Hit start and, and go. So, we're out of water and we're out of sand. That's why we're hitting up Pasco. The Missoula Chamber of Commerce is very disappointed that you did not come, uh, come as promised. I did not promise you anything. They even had some fine pie for the candidate. Else the tanner won't be voting for your passenger. Well, honestly, not my problem. So yeah, I might have selected the wrong train actually. Oh lord, there we go, that's gonna... ...mess with stuff a little bit. Too far between the roundhouses. Six stations in six days. That's not ideal, actually. But yeah, I mean, the breakdown... Well, it is what it is. The 
Is this actually increasing the throttle increases the engine speed past normal rated levels? At great, great risk of a breakdown. It doesn't say anything about consuming more water on sand though. Seven stations in seven days, eight now, nine when we hit her. And the reason, uh, the reason I didn't go Portland, Salem, Eugene, but Eugene, Salem, Portland, is because uh, I want to keep the acceleration and the speed going until we get to the end station there in uh, Eugene. Nine stations, we have another, what, six days to finish this? That breakdown could have cost us the gold, if I'm honest. I hope not, though. We'll see. Ah, uh, nine stations in nine days. I'm not really liking the looks of this. So much for the great performance of this train. 10 stations in 10 days. Mm, 11. I'm yeah, just checking to see that we got roundhouses. I don't think all cities do. Yeah, not Tacoma doesn't. But that's like a... Uh, layer of information you want to be privy to when you uh, lay a route. If you want to try something uh, different than the route that I'm going for anyway. I have a few more days left, so I mean, I don't know, we could possibly do it. Uh, I certainly hope so. Yeah, we're just passing through Pasco this time. I think we're on track. 12 stations in 12 days. We need to visit another 4 in 2 more days, so... It's doable, because they're fairly close together, but the breakdown might have screwed us. Spokane, oh... Uh, well... Okay, we have this day and one more. I think it's gonna be very close. I think we got it, actually. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Listed at 15 stations, and uh, boom! That's the last one. Now it doesn't really matter where the train goes. We even have some extra time to spare with the breakdown, so I think um, it was worth it to crank up the throttle, because there's a chance you'll break down anyway. I've had some times playing this, and you break down several times, and it just really screws you. But so yeah, there you have it, that route, this train, crank the pedal to the metal and uh, throttle it up as crazy. If you feel daring, because it could kind of tank it for you, I suppose, if you do it. Um, but yeah, it worked out for us, so. Investors are highly annoyed, I did my job and I, I did it right. So there you have it. Um, Teddy is proud of you. He gives you a gold medal and a stuffed bear as a reward. Hmm. Looks like you're a uh, shoo-in for Secretary of Transportation. Oh, it looks like you're a shoo-in for Secretary of Transportation. Yeah, why not? You just did it out of patriotism, right? Yeah. Obviously. I, I just... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, either way, so yeah, th that's one way to do it. I mean, it, it depends a little bit on luck. You could get really unlucky. Uh, this train gets the job done. Uh, the top train, I wouldn't recommend. Certainly not for this route, but I mean, if you can, hey, honestly, if you know of another route that can get gold on this scenario, w on hard difficulty, and I mean on hard difficulty, if you can get it on easy or normal, that's like whatever, really, because... Just, it's a lot easier on those difficulties. But if you know of a route that can get gold 
on hard difficulty that isn't this route? Let me know the route in the comments. I want to know. Either way, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate if you would consider leaving a like on it. And maybe even subscribing to my channel if you want some of my content in the future. And also apologies for my English being all over the place in the last few episodes. I don't know, I'm in like a mental place right now where I just can't focus properly. But hey, I wanted to do this, so here I am. Uh, maybe I speak too fast, I don't know. It's, eh, uh, what can I say? I mean, hopefully it ain't too bad. Either way... You can catch me in the next one. And uh, yeah, have a good one.